how you doing? Today I want to show you that it's very easy to make a poncho for a baby in record time. Let's say two, three, four hours, no more than that. It really depends on the size of the baby and also the um, number of pieces you're going to use because you can make a poncho with only two woven pieces like this poncho. Very simple, very um, I would say common design, but also you can make a design like this, which is smaller for a little baby, but using four pieces. One, two, three, and four equal. So it also depends on the complexity of the piece you're going to weave, because you can make a simple a plain piece uh, by doing plain weaving, using a soft cozy yarn, like this boucle, for example, one solid color, or you can also mix stitches to have a interesting texture in some area of your woven piece, or you can make a whole piece of herringbone stitch, for example, and also make a plain weaving, very simple, but using variegated yarn, so you have a colorful effect without any effort. So it really depends on you, but today the design I want to show you is the very simple one, this one with two wooden pieces, so you can achieve it in no more than two or three hours. So let's go and see. So as you can see, here I have the poncho, and it's made with two wooden pieces, size 12 inches by 12 inches. This is for a baby of six months more or less so if the baby is um, younger you have to make a smaller piece and if the baby is uh, elder you can make a um, larger piece and also depends on how um, how much of her body or his body you want to cover okay it can be like a very short and cute poncho or a large one that covers her or him all completely okay so uh, to make each piece, I made a plate pattern in which I used white and variegated yarn. The white one is double, so I use a boucle and also cotton. So with both, I made like a thick yarn together. But as that part where the white area is, it is a bit thick, I only used simple yarn where it is the variegated yarn. Okay, so I have more space in between here in the variegated yarn spaces, but also and that way the piece is uh, more light and it is a sort of balance between the white and the variegated yarn uh, thickness. Okay, I thought it could be too dense, too thick, too hard if I uh, also used um, variegated uh, double as the white. And well, then I just sew both sides, I positioned them one over the other and made a um, whip stitch or simple stitch by taking each loop of each side. And then I used the knots I already had here to make the fringes, but I also add a few more um, uh, pieces of yarn. So it can be like a thicker or bigger um, fringe, okay? You can um, add more fringes if you like, but I think this way it looks cute enough. Remember you can always add um, embroidery or beads or details if you want, but this is more or less the basic design you can make. So for more details, I am enclosing a pattern, a PDF pattern, which you can download and know um, exactly how many rows I used of each color. And then you can practice your own design by coloring the, the different um, rows and the colors uh, with the colors you have at home. Similar, for example, let's say you have um, you want to make this poncho with orange and purple, so you can um, go and find pencils of those colors and 
simply um, color your template and then you can see the proportions of the plate you will make can be like this one um, symmetrical completely symmetrical or you can maybe make a white part of purple and then just a line and make a more interesting um, plate really up to you you can also add a button if you like in both sides remember it's important that it's open um, I mean the the color or the the next space has to be um, quite wide so the head of the baby fits on it okay you can you can really use it wear it okay so that's it I hope you make it and I hope you have fun by creating it so I hope you like this video I hope you can make your own version of this uh, baby poncho and of course remember that I'll be starting on June the 1st um, a complete spindle weaving um, annual course from scratch until you become an expert so um, it will be uh, about 12 lessons one it, you will be receiving one each month and you will learn all the details all the teachers tips hints about spindle weaving on the bias okay diagonal weaving which is the technique you use and in square pendulums and we will have fun for 12 months uh, we will um, be designing and also making several different items from stuffed animals to cushions um, throws uh, different clothing uh, and also incorporating uh, other um, crafting techniques such as knitting and crocheting for the finishing so it will be a nice, uh, a wonderful um, opportunity to gain uh, different abilities and of course express your creativity through Bindle Weaving. So I invite you and I hope you join. See you in our next video. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.